Okay, this problem says to solve the system of linear equations by graphing. The two equations are x plus y equals 4 and x minus y equals negative 2. So the first thing we have to do is get both equations in slope-intercept form. So let's start with the first one, x plus y equals 4. We have x plus y equals 4. Okay, we have to subtract x from both sides of the equation. So we have y equals negative x plus 4. We're going to call that equation number 1. Okay, the second equation is x minus y equals negative 2. We have x minus y equals negative 2. We need to get that in slope-intercept form. So we subtract x from both sides of the equation. That'll give us negative y equals negative x minus 2. We need to get rid of that negative sign in front of the y, so we divide both sides of the equation by negative 1. We have negative y divided by negative 1 is positive y. Negative x divided by negative 1 is positive x. Negative 2 divided by negative 1 is positive 2. Okay, so that equation is in slope-intercept form. We're going to call that equation number 2. So the next thing we do is graph the two equations. <clears throat> so let me draw a set of axes here. It's going to be our y-axis. Let's label that y. And this will be our x-axis. Okay, and we have to plot or graph both of the equations. So the first one is y equals negative x plus 4. We see that the y-intercept is at 4. So we start at the origin. We count 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to intersect right here. Okay, we look at the slope. It's negative, so that tells us that the line is going to be sloping downward as we move from left to right. And we see the slope is negative 1. So our rise over our run is 1 over 1. Okay, So we start here. We know we're going to be going down in this direction because of that negative sign. And then the y direction is 1, and the x direction is 1. 1, 1. Rise, run, and so on. Okay, and we can sketch that line. And that is equation number one. So I'm going to put a one there. So now let's take a look at equation number two. Y equals x plus two. The y-intercept is two. So we start at the origin, we go 1, 2, okay, so the line is going to intersect the y-axis right there. We see the slope is positive, so it's going to be going up as we move from left to right. It's going to be sloping up, and again we see the slope is 1, so our rise over our run is 1 over 1, okay. It's going to be going up as we move from left to right. So we start here, and we rise 1, we run 1, right? We go up 1, we go over 1. Okay, and we can also extend it in this direction. We can see how the points are lining up. <coughs> and we can sketch that in. Okay. So that is our second equation. Okay, so now we sketched or graphed the two equations, the two lines. Okay, the point where they intersect is the solution. And they intersect right here. And that is the point 1, x equals 1 y equals 1, 2, 3. And that is our solution. Okay, and we can check our solution to make sure it's correct by plugging that point, 1, 3, 
back into the original equ equations to see if they're true. So let's do that. So our first equation up here was x plus y equals 4. All right, so let's write x plus y equals 4. And let's plug in the point x equals 1, y equals 3. So for x, we put in 1. For y, we put in 3. We see that 1 plus 3 is 4, which equals 4. So that checks out. So let's try the second equation. The second equation is x minus y equals negative 2. So let's write that x minus y equals negative 2. And let's substitute in the point 1, 3. So we have x equals 1, y equals 3. And we see that 1 minus 3 is negative 2, which equals negative 2. So that checks out. So our solution is correct.